Welcome to this clip covering the new Microsoft Word 2007 environment, which is designed to more closely reflect the way we generally work with our software applications. Now this clip will get you up to speed quickly, so let's begin the tour. The Microsoft Office button appears here in the upper left corner of the screen. The Office button replaces the familiar file menu from previous versions of Word, and it's where we'll find commands related to managing Word and our Word documents. Note the Word Options button here at the bottom of the screen. We'll explore this feature in a future clip. Immediately to the right of the Office button is the Quick Access Toolbar. Now this toolbar displays the Save, Undo, and Redo button initially, but it can be customized to include any commands that we frequently use. Across the top of the screen, the Title Bar. This is sometimes referred to as the Drag Bar, and it displays the name of the active document, and the current application. Next we have the tabs that have replaced the menu bar of earlier versions. Now when clicking on a tab, the ribbon changes, providing us with a set of relevant commands. The Home tab is active by default. The greatest noticeable change in the environment is the ribbon. It's just below the tabs and makes all the capabilities of Microsoft Word available in a single area. Now this region is dynamic, meaning it'll change depending on the specific task we're performing. Each of the tabs offers a series of groups, sometimes referred to as chunks. Now these groups, or chunks, are organized by frequency of use. The largest button in each group is the one that Microsoft considers to be the most often used, the smaller ones being used less often. An example of this is here on the clipboard group. Paste is the largest button and also has its own drop-down for additional features. Notice that some of the groups display a small checkbox here in the far lower right corner. This is called the Dialog Box Launcher, and it's where related but less common commands will exist. To see how these are going to make our job easier, we'll click on the Page Layout tab. Here in the Themes group, we'll click the Themes button to view the gallery of built-in themes. Now, if we decide not to select a theme at this time, we can simply press the Escape key on the keyboard to close the palette. We'll discuss themes at greater depth in a later clip. And now the status bar, which has again been located here at the bottom of the screen, but it too has had a facelift. At the far right, there's a view bar, allowing us to quickly adjust the current view and then a slider to control the screen magnification. And there you have a tour of the new Microsoft Word 2007 interface, putting Word's power and flexibility right at our fingertips.